Japanese speaking restaurant that was going to go forward as usual, make their speeches, and say what they had to say. Why this sudden restlessness, this confusion? How serious people's faces have become? Why are the streets and squares emptying so rapidly? Everyone going home, so lost in thought. So this video installation, Waiting for the Barbarian, is part of an ongoing project called I Stared at Beauty So Much. It's based on a poem by Konstantin Kavafi um, called also Waiting for the Barbarians. And uh, we started working around the work of Kavafi because we felt close to his poetry that was echoing uh, in a way very strongly with our situation in uh, Lebanon and in the region at that time. And uh, also um, we based uh, this uh, poem because we wanted to work on several videos or installations that were linked to poetry and use poetry to counter uh, chaos and violence. The word barbarian, if we, uh, if we go back to its signification, it's, um, it's those who were not talking uh, Greek in the Hellenic word. So when, in the opposite, the poet are those who will work with the, um, with the words, with the with talk, language. with language. So for us, it was a way to consider poetry as an opposition to what was happening in the world on, in these times. And still, because uh, it's, uh, we did this video in 2013 at a moment where we felt that things were being very, we were, we were living a uh, troubled time, but we still are in a way, and more and more. But at that moment, there was this big figure of nationalism and, uh, you know, this ba barbarians that were coming back uh, with, and, uh, with uh, all the Islamist group. And, um, and at that moment, we wanted to do, to do something on this notion on, of uh, cosmopolitanism and um, Kavafi is, uh, is a, po a po Greek poet that lived all his life in Alexandria and uh, worked in, uh, in Greek. Uh, so for us, it's uh, this, this uh, mixing of culture and, uh, and ideas are very important to promote. Basically, it's a different panoramic view shot in Beirut, of Beirut, where we are mixing several temporalities, meaning an image usually is a, is a space and time. Here we are mixing several temporalities. Each shutter speed can, be ver uh, can vary from one second to 10 seconds. And then we will mix all these images with also images of video. In a, a uh, composite image that is nearly impossible to do usually. So you had like uh, between 50 and 70 images and, and the, the, this the editing of images will make them a little bit move and in this movement you would see appear, you would see two suns or sometimes many suns appearing. And for us it was this idea that nature is very troubled, you know, it's this Shakespearean idea of nature and suns appears. And we, we based this uh, installation video uh, that you are showing at TAI on, this, uh, on those images. So we filmed those images and we wanted to do a video with uh, animated, photo animated photography. So in this short video, you will have several temporality, you will have several season even, that you will have images from day and images from night that will all mix together. And this is about actually where we start to consider the territory not anymore as just a geography, meaning a space, but also a temp temporality, uh, being contemporary, meaning sharing the same space at the same time, not only the same, same space. So for us, it's, um, it's how we shift this notion of territory from a geography to a temporality, and where the notion of contemporaneous become important. Because those panoramic uh, views of Beirut, uh, in, in, the, in those panoramic views of Beirut, you see nature is totally upside down. And because of the, this use of uh, temporality and uh, spa space, uh, like tension between mobility and immobility. The soundtrack is actually the poem of Kavafi, Waiting for the Barbarian. It is said by a friend, Bernard Khoury, who's an architect, but we love his voice. And it is treated 
likes the, the images, likes the video by itself, meaning we worked with this kind of echoes and from one voice to another one that is under it, it works like uh, um, with several layers of the same voice, same poem that is structured and start to show you a kind of complexity. Sometimes it's echoing, sometimes in, from, um, in the mixing you will hear um, a word more than another. So of course, it's maybe not the best way to understand this poem, but at the same time, for us, it gives us this uh, feeling of, uh, of um, this contemporaneous. It was important for us to work uh, in the sound as we worked on images and to keep the poem available for anyone who wants to read it but next to, uh, to the installation. And, uh, and because you, you, would, you would lose part of the poem and, uh, and, and part of the sound also. Uh, and because there's this um, moment of trouble, moment of confusion that is very important in, uh, in the video. And um, the, the poem of Kavafi uh, talked about people who are uh, waiting for a barbarian to come. So they are very uh, frightened of uh, those barbarians who are uh, supposedly coming at the, at, the, uh, at the borders. And finally, uh, someone comes from the borders and says there's no barbarians and people are totally shocked and would say like, what are we going to do without barbarians? Those people, they were a kind of solution. And uh, for us, it was um, uh, echoing a lot uh, the, the, the way sometimes conflicts are resolved by uh, putting all uh, the adversity on a group of people or, on, uh, or having a nationalistic way of uh, dealing with, uh, with conflict and, uh, and complexity of what we are living to in today's world. What's going to happen to us without barbarians? The world is people. Kind of solution. <laughs> <laughs> 